Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is multiplying and dividing um, sign. So sign meaning that we have positive or negative numbers. Um, so, but we're going to think particularly about mixed numbers and decimals. Okay, so the first thing that we have here is a multiplication problem. We know it's multiplication because they're right, the numbers are right next to each other and there's not an operation that's defined. All right, and what we have is decimal. We have two numbers that have uh, digits in the uh, place in the decimal place values. So we have 3.4 times 0 0.05. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a whole number by thinking of it as 34. And I'm going to make this a whole number by thinking of it as 5. Okay, and I'm going to do this simple um, multiplication problem. So I have. Uh, this would be uh, 4 times 5 is 20, bring up the 2, and then 5 times 3 plus 2 is 17. Okay, so I have this 170 here, but it's not 170. So what I want to do is I want to think about the place values that I disregarded when I made the 3.4 into 34 and 0 0.05 into 5. So with 3.4, I brought this over one place value. Okay, so I disregarded one place value, and with 0 0.05, I had brought this over 2. Okay, so I had disregarded three place values in order to, for me to do simple, um, simple multiplication. So I'm going to now take that into account as I try to get the answer to this problem. So I have 170. Okay, now I, the place value normally starts here. The place value starts right here. Um, for a whole number. So I'm going to bring it in one, oops, one, two, three place values. Okay, so the answer to this problem is going to be 0 0.170 or, you know, that's equivalent to 0 0.17. That's also equivalent to just putting 0.17. Okay, you don't have to have the zero here and you don't have to have the zero here, though I prefer this is my preferred answer. I like a zero in the one spot. Okay. Okay, the next problem right here is okay. The next problem we have here is negative three and a half times one and two thirds. Again, um, the multiplication is implied because it has um, the numbers are next to each other. So this is implied multiplication because they're next to each other and one has parentheses. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn uh, negative 3 and 1 half into a mixed number. So I want to really just consider this, oh, I'm sorry, it's already a mixed number, we want to turn it into an improper fraction. I want to consider this negative on the outside for a minute. I'm just going to think about 3 and a half. Now when you turn a mixed number into an improper fraction, you multiply the denominator times the whole part and then you add whatever you get to the numerator. So this becomes negative 7 over 2. Now I'm going to bring the um, negative sign in and I'm going to put it on the numerator here. Okay, so negative 3 and a half becomes negative 7 over 2 and similarly 1 and 2 thirds will become uh, 5 over 3. Okay, so when I multiply these two numbers together, I have negative 7 over 2 times 5 over 3. I actually didn't mean to put this as such a slash mark, so let me redo this again. I have negative 7 over 3. It's better to write them as vertical fractions because then the numerators line up. And so now I have sine multiplication here. That's negative 35 over um, 9. Whoops, this should have been 2. Sorry, this should have been 2. So let's go back and put that as a 2, and this becomes 6. Now turn this back into a mixed number by thinking of how many times 3, three goes into 35, which is 5 times, so make that negative 5. And you have 5 remainder over 6. Okay, so your answer is negative 5, oops, negative 5 and 5, 6. Okay, the next problem we have is um, division by decimal. We know it's division because it, there's a um, fraction bar here. Um, and it's actually easier for us. Instead of um, using this symbol, we're going to convert that symbol into the fraction bar because it's a lot easier for us to do. Because now what I can do is I can think of equivalent fractions. 
So let's rewrite what this problem is. I have negative 1.5 divided by negative 0 0.03. Okay, and I want when we did a, when we found equivalent fractions, we thought about a typical one that we wanted to multiply this fraction by, and that one is something that um, that one is any this one can mean anything. It could be you know. 3 over 3, 5 over 5, 1 million over 1 million, it could be x over x. Um, for us, we want to think of a 1 that will, when you multiply the numerator and denominator by it, it converts it to a whole number. So for instance, um, if I pick 10, the numerator would become negative 15 when multiplied by 10, but the denominator would not still be a whole number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 100. And I typically, for this trick, I want to use powers of 10. Um, so 100 is 10 squared, so that's a power of 10. When I multiply negative 1.5 by 100, what that really means is, the, the short way of doing that is moving the decimal place over by however many zeros there are in 100, which is 2. So this becomes negative 150. And the denominator becomes, so if I multiply this by 100, it moves it over 2. Okay, and this becomes negative 3. So now I just have whole numbers. Now with sign division, I know that I can get rid of these uh, negative signs because there are two of them. Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I'm left with this, which is a very easy problem. So it's 50. Okay, so the end of the problem here, let's just negative 150 divided, oh, sorry, negative 1.5 divided by negative 0 0.03 is just 50. So there are 50 negative 0 0.03s in negative 1.5. That is the answer to the problem there. Okay, our next problem is, um, again, decimal division. But um, initially, they start off using um, this symbol right here, which we actually we want to convert this into fraction bars. So we have put 0 0.5 divided by negative 0 0.25, okay? That's a lot easier to um, to use because now we can think of equivalent fractions, okay? Now, um, I'd have to, in the numerator, I want to move the decimal place over once, at least once, I should say, in order to get it to a whole number. In the denominator, I want to move it twice. So the most convenient thing to multiply by so let me rewrite this here. The most convenient thing to multiply by is the 1. Remember, I'm talking about 1 in quotation marks because it doesn't necessarily look like 1, though it is equivalent to 1. I want to multiply this by 100 over 100. Okay, And when I do that, let's see, when I do that, um, 0 0.5 moves over twice, 1, 2. So that becomes 50. Okay. And the bottom moves over twice. The decimal place moves over twice to the right, so that becomes negative 25. Now we have a negative, div uh, positive divided by a negative, so we know the answer is going to be negative. And then 50 divided by 25 is 2. And that's it. That's how simple that is. Okay. So the next and last problem is going to be um, the problem that we have a mixed number uh, divided by another signed mixed number. Okay. So first things first, we want to uh, turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Um, so think of, don't think of this negative sign in front of the negative one fourth for a second. Just think of this as uh, one times four, which is four, plus one is five. Now I'm going to bring that negative sign in again to make that negative five over four, and I'm going to divide that by. Okay, so that's negative. Uh, that's two times two, which is four. Plus one is five. So I'm going to make that negative five over two. Okay. Now to uh, divide fractions, I'm going to use the keep, change, flip rule, where I keep the first fraction the same. Okay. I change the division into multiplication, and I reciprocate the second fraction. Okay. So if I reciprocate, I would get. 2 over negative 5, but I'm going to keep that negative on the numerator. Okay, so it doesn't really matter, but it's just typical for us to write the negative in the numerator, not denominator. So just one more time, that would have been, if I reciprocated that, 
sort of two over negative five. But I really t I like writing the numerator, or the negative in the numerator, so that becomes negative two fifths. Okay, now we're just going to multiply across. Negative five times negative two is positive ten, and four times five is twenty, and that reduces to one half, and that's it. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson um, on. Uh, multiplying and dividing signed mixed numbers and decimals.